Okay, en route now. I was just over there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, buses in this part are like, mental. Like, literally, the drivers are just. They don't make music in No, they do that in England as well. Yeah. But they literally just pulls down the road and like literally like they get flung across if you're not quick enough. So here we go. Arrived at the castle and uh, don't yet know if we have to pay to get in. Didn't check that bit. <laughs> But we'll find out shortly. But uh, yeah, good bus ride. I uh, finally know how to stamp in, which is good. Okay, so to validate, you punch, punch your ticket through there. And that's it, you're good to go. Um, yeah, the bus system here is really nice, actually. Very regular, very clean. I really like this city so far, actually. It's got a lot of character, a lot of beauty. But it's not like over polished like i've been you know recently you know we've been in vienna and uh vienna is incredible but it's very very polished and obviously i like a bit of rawness to my cities i like a bit of edge and i feel this has a good striking balance between the two it's got that kind of beauty but it's also got a lot of character and you can see the history in the walls but look at that what a beautiful building let's get in there let's get a closer look at this castle well, I can think of worse views. Look at that. What an incredible sight. Amazing. And then just here, we also have the castle. Look at that. This place is incredible. Let's get a closer look at this view. So there's the Danube. And there is the old uh, bridge there. Incredible. Some woodland. Let's go and get a closer look at this uh, castle. And we have, I can't, I can't, I can't read it, I ain't gonna try to. <laughs> but we have some information here. And a wonderful statue, just here. We haven't had to pay anything so far. I don't know if you've got to pay to get inside that bit there. But that is pretty snazzy. Right, we're going to go inside here, see if we're allowed to. Let's see what we have and if we're allowed to. <laughs> so this isn't too bad at all. Yeah, this is what it's like inside. So again, you have to pay to get in here, it seems, which is brilliant. When we went to Greece or Athens to be precise, you had to pay to get into everything. Any, anything historical, they made you pay. I'm not getting that here, which is great. Okay, so we're on our way to the Parliament buildings now. Daylight's burning fast, as you can see, it's getting a bit darker. But look at that. What a view. So the beauty is, is I actually didn't know what to expect when I came here. Um, I thought it would just be like any other European city, because the, the, the irony is, is when you go to a few European cities, you kind of see them all. But some of them have a glimpse of charm, and, I, and this, this has it, I think. Um, but yeah, just things like that, like, it's just mad. Absolutely crazy. Like, you know, the, how the building styles change between uh, Vienna and Bratislava. Because it's only an hour, hour and a half away on the uh, bus to get here. And that bus costs us four euro, or four pound. So, uh, very cheap to get here as well. We did that via Flixbus. So, if you're interested in seeing that, there is a video which documents our journey. It was a nice, straightforward journey, that one. But yeah, we're going to head over to the Parliament building now. It's over that direction somewhere. And see what it's like. Right, that is the Parliament building. I got it wrong. <laughs> we need to go to the, what was it, the Presidential Palace? Yeah. We need to go to the Presidential Palace, which is over there. 12 minute walk, not too bad. Look how cool that, uh, that little bus thing is over there. I think that takes people down there so they don't have to do the walk. So let's go to the right place. Right, here we go. We're not far now. I think that's the building right there, actually. But uh, I think that's the back of it. But first impressions are, what a city. 
I've not had a chance to really speak to any of the locals yet, but the people that we've seen around have really smiley and you know, seem to be really welcoming. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the buildings and the history, just really beautiful. Um, so yeah, as I say, it's my first time here. And uh, yeah, I didn't know what to expect really. I think if you go to a place with set expectations, then it may not live up to what you think it's gonna be. But if you go to a place open-minded and you don't, look too deep into what it's going to be like you actually probably be very surprised because it probably turns out to be uh, something so much more than you could have imagined it to be but what I really like is it's not just got the beauty but it's also got the kind of character as well which I think is important you know what I mean let's see a few bullet holes in there I think which is crazy but um yeah so far so good so would I recommend coming here 100% if you're in Vienna and you want something with a similar level of beauty and character but not you know over polished then uh, i would say that this is not a bad not a bad option for that i've got to be careful because these are tram certainly don't want to get injured on my uh, on my trip here but uh oh wow good timing there's a tram over there <laughs> I could have made a meal out of me if I had not timed that. But yeah, look at that. How nice is that, look? But yeah, there you go, people. Bratislava, Slovakia. Tell me, is this what you expected it to look like? It's very, very nice. Do come visit. All right, so we have arrived at the presidential palace right here. And what a building! How nice is that, eh? You cannot go wrong with that at all. I better be careful because I'll get in Tam's uh, shot there. Sorry, my love. So yeah, Slovakia has uh, provided many, many surprises for me today because I honestly did not know what to expect. But I'm loving it so far, I really am. So here we go, we're gonna close it off from here because we're losing daylight, but that is Bratislava. So if you get a chance, do come and visit it's a very very beautiful city everyone's very very friendly and smiley i feel very very safe here it's really easy to get around um it's really really affordable i mean the apartment we're staying in is like 35 pounds and we split that three ways so that's you know 11.50 roughly each to stay in such a modern luxury apartment so i'd highly recommend so if you get a chance come to bratislava four pound on a bus for uh, from Flixbus from Vienna so if you happen to be in Vienna and you want a little day trip you can't go wrong with Bratislava thank you so much for watching people really hope you've enjoyed this video do catch us on the next one we're going to be looking at traditional Slovakian food so really hope you uh, join us on that one but most importantly hope you have a wonderful day thank you to us too and the lovely Kyle over there <laughs> and we shall see you later take care people Bye now.